Well, we finally made it to Gen 6. Uh, this is a weird one since we actually reviewed X and Y way back in episode 2. But we never gave our opinions on how we feel about all the Pokemon in the generation to find out how it really holds up. And don't forget all the Mega Pokemon! Oh, I won't. I'll be keeping a tally of how many Pokemon I like, dislike, or just feel indifferent to. In the end, we'll get some solid numbers on how we feel about the generation. Keep a tally of how many Pokemon you like, dislike, or just feel indifferent to, and share your results in the comments below. Here's how I feel about every Pokemon in Kalos! Bianca. Soccer ball gopher. None of this guy's wonky design meshes together at all. Fennec foxes are adorable in real life, so of course it's cute. Literally has a stick up its butt. Cool idea that Game Freak's lifeless animators stiffly ruined. Yes guys, you made the eyes big enough. Feels too slapped together middle stagey to me. I didn't realize how much I needed a frog ninja until now. Mentally handicapped rabbit. Morbidly obese rabbit. Pidgey for the sixth time. Got more orange, therefore became fire type. Basically just Moltres, but less fire. Bugs are ugly enough. Why'd you have to go and draw a thing like this? Confetti farts. One of the coolest Pokemon concepts ever with regional exclusive forms making international trading actually hold value again. Perfect mix of ugly and forgettable. Bait for lazily designed characters to share hairstyles with their Pokemon. I'm clearly a sucker for alternate forms. Mary Poppins, the plant. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think this was grass type? Yeah, it actually resists fire. Think about that. Goats are the antonym of cute. How is this thing possible? A name so stupid, it became an instant meme. Have you seen baby pandas? This little guy needed the coordination of Spinda. Angry panda with a butt cape, created for a useless abandoned gimmick. You'd think they'd learn to stop doing that by now, but this franchise doesn't know the meaning of the word learn. The devil himself. Oh yeah, and then it can evolve. Admit it. This is a stupid idea. Terrible name for yet another randomly sentient inanimate object. So ridiculously powerful I can't help but enjoy it. Bird nose pixie farts. Satanic abomination incarnate. Moving on. Because Pokemon based on food was such a huge hit last time, right? It's perfectly mixing delicious and stupid so well I can feel my IQ dropping just drooling over it. Don't trust that adorable face, I've seen what squids can do. Gimmick evolution put on a pretty sweet Pokemon. Is it an it or a they? Diglett 2.0. Cutting right to the chase with the adding more evolutions, huh? Just put them freaking everywhere! I love how his own poison is drugging him out. If a literal leafy sea dragon isn't a dragon, then I don't know what is. Wait a minute, then why isn't he also grass type? I really want to eat him. That claw looks so meaty. Spoke too soon, where's the butter? So lame you could pass him off as fake internet chaff. Sad when you can barely tell the difference anymore. No other Pokemon looks to me like they need a final form more than this guy. Why did it take this long to get a straight up T-Rex? I can't believe I already gave out best in show. You're so amazing, Tyrantrum. I'm sorry you're upstaged by a butterfly. Freaking adorable, but also a great idea for a fossil. I've gotta admit, these were the coolest fossils we've ever gotten. It's just okay. Yeah, I said it. What you gonna do about it? Angry Luchador Bird is so stupid he's amazing. Stop with the freaking Pikachu knockoffs! You guys introduce fairy type and justify it with crap like this? I love this new squishy fairy slug. Wait, what do you mean he's a dragon? Off-putting snail. Lovable taffy dragon. I'm sorry, what? You wanna run this by me again? Did you lose your car keys or have you lost your freaking mind? Depressing and creepy. Great type combo idea as well. Looks like that one guy in the badly made haunted trail costume waiting to jump out and go booga booga booga. Pumpkin with headlights. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and it wants to hug you to death. Oh shoot, we didn't make enough ice types this gen. Somebody draw something really fast. Oh man, I didn't mean that fast. We should probably reconsider this before moving on. Cute fuzzy squeaky bat. Do they know that echolocation doesn't get more effective by making more noise? Poor thing probably disorients itself just by existing. For the love of God, can we stop with the freaking legendary deer already? Apocalyptical bacon bird. Unfinished idea shoehorned into the next gen. Get used to it. Game Freak isn't here for you, they're here for your money. Why wasn't this just Carbink's evolution? At least it looks like a fairy for crying out loud. Some Pokemon are so dumb, you pretend they don't exist. Or they're just movie tie-ins like this one. The famous event that never came. Lumio Square will be left forever unfinished. 
Venusaur playing dress up. Nobody was pre ordering X over Y, so they dropped this much cooler X exclusive Charizard form on us to even the odds right before launch. Jerks. He also looks shiny for no reason when your Charizard gets a little horny. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? You're, you're serious, aren't you? Proof Alakazam's power increases with spoons. He's also his shiny colors just to freaking confuse people. This is what a mustache drawn on the Mona Lisa looks like, my friends. The stupidest idea that was actually OP beyond belief. Looks like a bad Sinnoh evolution like Yon Mega. Thank God it's only temporary. Let's turn the famous sea serpent into a shrimp. No, literally, a shrimp. When your Aerodactyl gets really horny. We already thought his tail was a penis. Stop making it more erect! You were doing so well, Gen 6, until you decided to take a dump on all the older Pokemon I liked. You expected a L'Oreal joke, but instead just got more hair and balls. I half expected chainsaw arms with how dumb these evolutions are. Swalbug knows not the meaning of the word exoskeleton. There is no physics, only protein. This was your chance to give it three heads, guys, and instead you just made him horny like the others. Did somebody say horny? But we liked Blaziken! Why'd you go and piss in his mouth? You guys do remember that Gardevoir can be male, right? Finally, a Pokemon that actually needed an evolution. And it's pretty sweet looking too. Now why was that so hard? Did somebody say hard? We already made a blackface Pokemon, so we're not above culturally insensitive designs. Screw it! <laughs> Dumbest looking thing I've ever seen. I don't know what to do with Manetric. Give it a giant Thunderbolt? How giant? Yes! How do we make this Pokemon more emo? Add more zippers? It was too one dimensional anyway. We talked about Arcanine getting a Mega just to get wings, but what have you done to Absol? It's not even good in battle anymore. It actually got worse. When your forearms are the size of your entire body, you know you've skipped leg day. I'm sorry, didn't we just. Oh no, this is another one? Why did they both turn into the same freaking thing? Is design really that hard? Garchomp all dressed up for prom with Kabutops. And as a bonus, he's a little extra horny. Why did he get the Mega and not Flygon? Answer me! The same old horny dreadlocks, but now with bland primary colors. Because that isn't tacky at all. Obama Snow just took a bath and shook off, so we took this funny pic for Twitter, lol. Vespa Queen and Beedrill got to drilling and crapped out this thing. No matter what you guys do, it's still just a lame bird. I both love how stupid it is and hate it with a burning passion. Let's leave it at bland and call it a day. Same old Steelix, but even harder. And hornier! Now Dragon type missile launching forest titan? Okay, you got me now. You can't tell me with a straight face that this was a good idea. Are the designers five? Like Mowell, he needed something. But was this really it? You took an amazing rocket shark and you ruined it. How'd you even do that? Oh right, by making it super horny! Yes guys, we got it before that he was a volcano. You don't need to go and make it so painfully obvious. Mag freaking magnificent design and justification for being Dragon Fairy. Still unsettling, just not nearly as cool for some reason. The dumbest excuse for an evolution for an already overpowered Pokemon. Once again, hinting at the shinies with an over the top and borderline dumb design. Metagross wants a hog! The epic space dragon just got even more more majestic. Why are good Megas so few and far between? Because we can't get through a single generation without baiting out more weird furry porn, can't we? To be honest, this is what Gallade should have just looked like normally. Oh right, Anova! We almost forgot about you! Beautifully bioluminescent, referencing Kyogre's light-up fins from the original Sapphire. Before Oris released, the Pokemon Company specifically insisted that these two new forms were not Mega Evolutions. But let's be honest, they are. Did somebody forget to color his thumb? Was clearly designed for a mega form, unlike literally every other Pokemon on this list. And with that out of the way, here's our final scores for Kalos. <laughs> wow, I really like the main generation. But jeez, those Megas really pulled the whole thing down. But in the end, my scores show it as the most evenly split generation yet. So what did you come up with? Only your scores matter in the end, so don't feel like you've got to change what you like just to fit in. 
Because if you change your opinions just to go with the majority, you're just playing with yourself. Uh, hi, um, uh, do you have an idea for a new episode of Playing With Myself? Join the discussion over on Discord using the new Patreon perks to nominate and vote for future episodes. Patreon members also get first picks, so check out the links in the description for more information. And as always, thank you to our amazing Patreon members, Atomic Thomas, Cameron, Arrow, Kai, Ben, Rowan, Erica, Sid, and Denny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye!